Julie and Julie is here. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> Live time is not a good time for me, so I'm just laying here dying. <laughs> well, oh, see, oh, it's of like, course. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's like it's in the probes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad we bring such happiness to the evening. <laughs> no, only because I had something to eat and um, I've been having tummy pain and usually after I eat, I just need to rest and then I'll be okay. So yeah, but Shelly and Julie came around and brought me some stuff and she's going to explain what she brought me. Alright, so, for little Miss Nash. She's an amazing naturopath by the way. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> 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 um, this better go viral. Because Nat's not eating um, and it's so important that she gets her protein. We have her um, raw fermented paleo protein. It's an Amazonia brand. I actually have this myself because it's fermented and what they call pre-digested. So it's so much easier to absorb than your usual protein powders. Um, so three scoops a day of this basically replaces meat, which is really good because meat for her right now is going to be really hard to digest because her mm. intestinal lining is so inflamed. Um, so yeah, this will just help give her what she needs without irritating her intestinal lining. Something on it. <laughs> <laughs> Extra raw. Yeah. <laughs> so is that only once a day? Um, yeah, if she gets meat, I wouldn't do it. But if she doesn't, just once a day, three once scoops. Okay. Um, with juice, water, mm -hmm. or um, a smoothie blend. And mm -hmm. it's really nice. It tastes like vanilla. Okay. It's delicious. It's the one thing I'm giving you that tastes good. <laughs> um... Also, as I said to Nat bef before, um, the chemo, because it's just toxic, it's basically going to be filtered through her kidneys every day. And as I explained at the hospital, it's really going to wreak havoc on the kidneys. So I brought her a herb called goldenrod, which is basically going to repair her kidneys and keep them in good form and also help with um, mm. yeah, filtering and getting it all through, which is essential for her and this stuff is really nasty, it tastes really bad. So hopefully she can down it, get a bit of juice. Um, this stuff, Golden um, Bioceuticals Intestamine, and um, because the chemo, like I said before, is so toxic, it's literally inflaming her whole intestinal tract to the point where you get diarrhea, you get the gastric re reflux, you can't digest food, so it's quite constipation, constipation <laughs> the list goes on, we won't talk about her poo on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Already uh, did. <laughs> uh, this stuff is amazing because it's got like your common things like aloe vera in there, it's got um, an amino acid glutamine which it helps with gut repair. But it also has things like slippery elm, which creates like a film over the intestinal lining. Mm -hmm. So it prevents that irritation. Um, yeah, it's amazing stuff. It's just basically going to heal the gut lining. It's going to reduce the inflammation and it's going to protect it. So I hope this makes a lot of difference. Mm -hmm. It should do. Um, I've got a lot of stuff. Um, also, the chemo is going to get rid of all the bacteria in our gut, good bacteria, which helps digest the carbohydrates and the protein. Thus, the probiotic, and it's also got Saccharomyces in there, which gets rid of bad bacteria in case that starts to accumulate. Mm. Tick. How <gasps> often do you take that? How often? Daily. Oh, At least once a day. day. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And I can't imagine why you should stop that during chemo as well. Mm. Ask them. Yeah. That's. I mean, that's something your gut naturally produces anyway. Mm. So I asked the doctor, and then they said that uh, I oh, can take you. supplements. Uh, three days before and after chemo so that it doesn't interact with the chemo drugs uh, like the doctors the, the pharmacy said that you know uh, even with vitamin C it, it counter uh, acts with the drugs so yeah. yeah but as long as I did it three days before and after it should yeah. be alright I think they're very skeptical in hospitals because it hasn't been scientifically studied the effects of certain supplements with chemo so of course they're going to be safe and saying no, don't take that because we don't know what kind of effect it will have. Mm. So which is mm. fair enough. Mm. And I feel better you stopping that three days before chemo just in case. Yeah. You never know. Um, this one, BioChoice by Biomedica, it is a um, multivitamin amino acid. Everything there is like a hundred different things in here. Mm. It's pretty phenomenal. Yeah. So she's getting absolutely everything you need in that one tablet, but. 
probably might need to take a few of them a day when you're not eating, but when you are eating, you won't need to take as many. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So okay. it keeps everything covered. And lucky last, um, this one's awesome as well because that one, the intestine actually had herbs in there and stuff to protect the intestinal lining, but this is vitamins. So to keep like epithelial tissue, which is what your intestinal lining is made out of, um, to keep it regenerated, you need vitamin A and you need vitamin E. Mm -hmm. um, it's got both of those and you're not getting enough in that formula. So I made sure she's getting a bit more in this one. But the best thing about this, it's got more turmeric, more anti-inflammatory. And my favorite, it's got the reishi mushrooms. <laughs> So reishi mushrooms are renowned for fighting cancer and keeping the immune system strong. Mm. And it's got a few other things in there like shiitake and green tea, which is going to boost her immune system mm. and make sure like she's getting that, that get yeah. up and go fight back. Yeah. yeah. So she's covered from all angles at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> and a massive shout out like Jules here mm. and Mandy and Kaz. Thank you girls for helping me pay for all of this. Mm. Thank you, girl. Yeah. Thank you. I can't wait. You're gonna be like a Duracell bunny coming around. She's gonna be healthier than all of us. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be coming around and going, "Can I have some of that?" <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what the difference is once she starts taking them. Yeah. But I've yeah. I'm very. I've been like with one. It's really really tough because it's new and. Uh, my body's not used to it and you know I've never slept that long in my life for like three consecutive days and Crazy. 16 to 20 hours I think you know one of those days I, I have slept 20 hours easy because my body just aches mm -hmm. um, yeah it's just nuts and uh, yeah even w even though I was optimistic about the when the doctor says like yeah still go out yeah you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit of tea <laughs> 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 You'll get there though. Yeah, you will. Like yeah. I said, your body will adjust. Yeah. And it should hopefully get a little bit easier to deal with. And you'll know not what not to do, like chili. Chili matters. <laughs> oh yeah, but just way, saying. This is what happened now. When I felt better. When was that? Tuesday. Tuesday, so yeah, three days ago. And uh, when you chowed down, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I was like, Yeah, I'm gonna better, I can eat now. And I was eating like prawn crackers, <laughs> prawn crackers, mm. chili dumpling. <laughs> oh, oh, not good. I'm paying it for shot. the next three days. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah, so moral of the story is don't overeat. Yeah, I think especially not chili. Yeah, and I think because yeah, like I said, you know, my body probably just in shock, like never is scared. Little and often, not every good thing in life. Yeah, this is true. Yeah, thank you so much, girls. I love you so much. Pleasure. Okay. All right, checking out. Bye. Bye.